Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very interesting day. <laughs> we are going to dispel the misconceptions of Saturn, Shani Maharaj. Perhaps the most misunderstood planet. Well, of course, there are many things which are true, but not entirely though. Right, so this video is exclusively on Saturn. I've made videos on other planets, misconceptions, and houses, and here you go. It's Saturn today, right? And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it here or there. <laughs> and if you want a consultation from me regarding your Saturn or any other planet, please go to my website down below. And God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will save you from the wrath of Saturn. <laughs> all right. This is the first misconception. <clears throat> that every Saturn Dasha will be bad. It will be horrible. It will be terrible. You will die. Somebody in your family will die. You will lose your loved ones. Or you will be divorced. Or you will break up. Or anything. <laughs> This is the first misconception. So, there's a very famous uh, app, um, astrology app. I won't take name, but I installed it once in my mobile. I've deleted it now. But then what happened was, uh, suddenly I got this message one day. Is Shani ruining your marriage? So, how does it affect psychologically? When you hear... Oh, Shani is ruining my marriage. Who the hell is this Shani, you know, going around ruining people's lives? This is what you feel when you uh, see such things, okay? Of course, everybody knows about which app I'm talking, but it's very frequent uh, notification in the mobile. You know, is Shani ruining your marriage? Is Shani ruining your career? Uh, as if this Saturn is so jobless, like uh, somebody... <laughs> So this, this is something you have to understand that whatever happens in your life depends on your horoscope. Okay, Don't think that uh, anytime you get a Saturn Dasha or Saturn Transit, it is going to be bad, it's going to be deadly or worse. Okay? Do not think like this. Because uh, this disassociates you from your horoscope because then you tend to think, oh, anyways, it's Saturn Dasha because when I do consultations, I see people asking me, sir, I will get my Saturn Mahadasha in 60s or 50s or 80s or 90s. What will happen? And I'm like, what about the other Mahadashas? Well, maybe good, maybe bad, but Saturn has to be bad, right? No, it's not like this. So therefore, don't put a stamp that if you have Saturn Mahadasha in your 60s, you will be ruined, you will die or something of that sort. And anyways, you will die one day, if not in 60s, then 80s, 90s, 100s. Well, the thing is, and you may die in Saturn Mahadasha, but the thing is, these things are indicated in the horoscope, depending on your placements and Saturn or whichever planet. Okay, So please do not buy this misconception that it will be the worst time. Okay, The other misconception is um, that a debilitated Saturn is bad for you. Okay, Now, Along with this, there's another misconception that exalted Saturn is very good. So, an exalted Saturn in general is very good, but it could be very bad for your horoscope. And a debilitated Saturn is in general not very nice, but it can be very good for you. Okay. Now, when I say good, I don't mean uh, financially necessarily. But any planet, if it is helping you in your journey towards the ultimate perfection of life, then that planet is good for you. doesn't matter if it is in a Dustan or it is in exaltation or in debilitation or it is a, with malefics. It okay? doesn't matter. Okay? Um, because uh, that planet is like your friend. Okay? So this is a very big misconception that debilitated Saturn means your life is ruined. Okay? Now, the another misconception, and this is huge I have seen, if your Saturn is somehow bad, as per astrology, uh, people think, that, oh, this person's Saturn is very bad. You know, the person does not have any discipline or self-control or something else. No, it's not like there are, there are multiple houses in astrology which will signify that. Okay? So therefore, don't think that uh, 
this person has a bad Saturn, so everything is ruined for this person. Okay, um, the multiple things are there. There's the tenth house, there's the tenth lord, there's the Lagnes, there's the Lagna lord. So many things are there. Okay, so you must check all these planets, and then also you should check the sun, the power of the, the Saturn in the horoscope. Otherwise, if you make blind statements like this, uh, you could end up in a disaster, and so could be your client. <laughs> All right, this is very important because I have seen uh, many people they come to me and they tell me, "Oh, sir, when the, when that astrologer looked at my chart for the first time, he said, oh, your sun is bad. You know, life is ruined.' Yeah, there are astrologers who behave like this. Um, I don't know who they are, but I've heard there are so many like this. All right." Sun is bad, life is ruined, Venus is bad, marriage is ruined, right? So, now do not think that if your Saturn is uh, uh, debilitated, then it is always going to be bad for you. Okay? Depends, you have to identify the flow of the horoscope. So, unless you identify the flow of the horoscope, you will never come to know if a planet is good for you or is it bad for you. Okay? Then, um, the other misconception is uh, Saturn is very good in the Upatya houses, 3, 6, 10, and 11, okay? So, um, now, that would be good. I don't disagree with that. But what if this is in the chart of a lazy person? For him or her, this could be a terrible placement because then the person may feel that uh, life's like hell. But if this is in the chart of a very uh, disciplined person who is very much committed, then this is very good. Because then what happens if a person is very lazy and then they have Saturn in these houses, 3, 6, 10, and 11. Then the person may be forced to work and because the person doesn't have that inner strength and stamina, the person will take shortcuts and thereby fall prey to adharma, sin, okay? quick money or anything basically, cheating. So uh, that's like a very extreme energy, Saturn in the 3rd, 6th, 10th, and 11th. Okay? So therefore, I do not say Saturn is good in these houses if the horoscope is not very strong. If the horoscope is strong, then yes, it's a great blessing to have Saturn here. Okay. Now, the other misconception is Saturn in seventh will ruin my married life. No, it won't. It might get you married. Okay. So the thing is, marriage comes not only from the planet sitting in the seventh, it comes from the planet sitting in the second, seventh, and eleventh and the lords of the uh, second, seventh, and eleventh. Okay. So therefore, you might get married in the shas of different planets also. So don't think that just Saturn and seventh will ruin your marriage or won't ever get you married. Okay, It won't be like this. Of course, the person, if you get married during the Antar Dasha of Saturn or Mahadasha of Saturn, and Saturn is linked with the second, seventh, and eleventh, then it could happen that the person has Saturnian traits, your partner, the part partner could be elder to you or from a different caste, creed, uh, community, religion, or uh, there could be language barrier or something like this. Um, but it doesn't mean that uh, if Saturn is in seven, the person uh, you end up marrying will look uh, very bad or uh, the person will be a beggar or somebody like this. So it's not necessary always that this happens, okay? So this is something which I always keep waiting. Oh, I had Saturn in the seventh, you know, that was bound to happen. This was bound to happen. And the other misconception, the next one is uh, Saturn can never be afflicted. <laughs> yes, uh, Saturn can also be afflicted by other malefics like Mars, Rahu, Sun, Ketu. So your Saturn can also be hampered by all this, okay? So Sun, Saturn. Sun, Saturn can be different for different people. Sometimes if Sun is more powerful, then the person thinks that uh, that's bad for Saturn because then the person thinks, oh, anyways, I don't have to do much, you know, everything's just there. And then when trouble comes, the person is in serious difficulty. Or the other way around, the person is working, but there's no success, which is the Sun, okay? So then the person gets into depression. So, um, therefore, that can have different flavors. Okay? So, you need to look into the overall horoscope and judge what Saturn is doing. What, when is this Sun-Saturn conjunction good? Or when is this bad? But in general, if Saturn is conjunct malefics like uh, Rahu, Ketu and uh, Mars especially, then there could be 
uh, challenges posed to this Saturn, like Mars Saturn can make the person very pulsive and uh, lack the person might lack patience. So that's how Mars hurts Saturn. Yeah. And Saturn can also hurt Mars. How, how can he hurt Mars? He, he might say that, okay, you want to be, uh, you want to be goal oriented, but I won't let you do that. I will make you very pessimistic. Always negative thinking of all the crap all the time. Saturn, typical Saturn that is. Yeah. So that, that's how uh, you know uh, if Mars and Saturn conjunction, which planet is ruining which planet. Okay. So these are some of the misconceptions. And uh, let me think of any other misconception. Uh, this is huge. Saturn in Kendra, your life is ruined. <laughs> I don't know from where this has come. <clears throat> so, um, and another big misconception is Saturn ruins the house where he sits. Okay. Now, why in the universe will a planet ruin its own house? Will you damage your own house? Of course, there are people who commit suicide, but that's different. That's not for the general public, right? Although in Kaliuga, unfortunately, suicide rates are going up. Uh, but the thing is, in general, you would not destroy your own house, right? In general, I'm saying. Why? Because nobody likes to be destroyed. Because everybody is a living entity and everybody wants to live eternally. That's what Krishna says in Gita. Now you are eternal. You are a spirit soul, not this body. Uh, so, and then uh, another misconception is that uh, Saturn in prominent positions will make your life not bad, but very challenging and very difficult. Like especially the trines and Kendra, as I said, or especially when it is linked with the ascendant. It makes your life very difficult. Well, not necessarily. The difficulties don't come from planets. They come from the Dustanas. You have to understand. So, so if even if Jupiter, Venus are ruling your 6th, 8th, 12th, or they are sitting there in the Bhav chart, not Lagna chart, disclaimer, Bhav chart, then you will suffer in the dashas of these planets also. And if Saturn is sitting in the 5th, 9th, 10th, or 11th, or sitting in the Nakshatra, or uh, in the Nakshatras, who are, whose lords are... Um, sitting either in these houses 5th, 9th, 10th and 11th you will have a great Saturn Dasha okay? so the other misconception is uh, wherever Saturn aspects he ruins everything <laughs> All right, so for example the most dreaded Saturn Venus uh, aspect oh my god my married life is ruined you know oh Saturn is aspecting Venus you know? I should be more practical and realistic and grounded you know? well uh, that that is true, provided your dashas are indicating the sixth house. If the sixth house is not indicated, then you will feel that the Saturn Venus conjunction is hardly having any effects. But if the sixth house comes, then you might feel the deadly effects. But what if the sixth house is not coming in your dasha? Then you won't feel this, all right? So just to say that it's bad is uh, you, you, you are not understanding the context of the household. Or nor are you understanding the dashas. Okay, so therefore this is a very deadly blunder which many people make actually. Okay, now another misconception is uh, Saturn and Rahu are friends, so they are very good together. <laughs> uh, and the other one is also true. They say that Saturn and Rahu conjunction, that's known as uh, Pishat Yoga, if I'm correct. So people think that if they have Saturn Rahu conjunction anywhere in the house, in any sign alone, both are together or uh, they are aspecting each other or whatever it is, then their life is ruined. Well, it's not like this. This could incur uh, serious problems uh, in your life. Uh, they could incur actually, provided the Hindustanas are linked. Okay. So as I'm saying again and again, the problems don't come from the planets. They come from the Dustanas. You have to understand. Okay. So if the Dustanas are linked, uh, then this could be really a a uh, big source of trouble for you as people love to say, you know, oh, Shani has ruined my life. Then Shani might ruin your life. <laughs> it's your own karma, basically. Yeah. The other misconception is uh, Saturn shows your life purpose. No, it doesn't. All the planets, all the freaking nine planets and houses show your life purpose. Okay. But the problem these days is life purpose is like thought as a career stuff. You know, it's like whatever a person is doing in career, if the person has a good career, Oh, the person is very focused in life. You know, the person doesn't have a good career. Oh, there's no focus. You know, the person is just wasting his or her life. That's a typical animalistic uh, 
headless mentality which the people of Kali Yuga have. So, no, he doesn't show. He contributes to your life purpose. There is no one planet which shows your life purpose. Okay. Sun is sitting in the 12th house. You will do good in your life purpose is in foreign lands. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've heard about. YouTube is flooded with all this nonsense. You know, oh, moon is in 10th house. You know, you'll make it big in uh, the government. And, uh, <laughs> what about the rest? What about your married life? What about your health? Every day, every moment of your life, you should be living your purpose. Because I get people who tell me, Sir, my Saturn Dasha will come in 60s, you know, only then I will see my life purpose. And what about till 60s? <laughs> what about your Rahu? What about your Jupiter, Mahadashas, which you'll get in 30s, 40s, 50s? What about them? Ah, after all, they are not Saturn, you know, so they are not very important. No, it's not like this. Okay. And another misconception is if Saturn is uh, conjunct or aspecting Sun, Moon, or the Lord of the Ascendant, or the Ascendant, then your whole life is ruined. Okay? Never, never, never think like this. Difficulties can come in the Dashas if the Dustanas are linked. Again, I'm repeating disclaimer. Otherwise, not like this. Yeah, it could. And if the horoscope is uh, indicating depression, then this could be really serious. Okay, Saturn, Moon, Wish Yoga, or whatever you call it. But in general, it's not necessary that for everybody it's like this. Okay, and another misconception is Saturn is very good in the Dustanas. Sorry, no planet is good in the Dustanas. <laughs> Doesn't matter which planet it is. Okay, in fact, it's worse to have malefics in the Dustanas. It's worse, worse, worse. Okay, and um, so many misconceptions are there. My God, Saturn in Navamsha Lagna ruins your marriage. <laughs> I don't know where, from where these things come. Saturn in uh, the Shamsha Lagna will ruin your career. Okay? Never, never, never. Nothing to do with uh, career. You know, the Shamsha chart is linked to career, but it's a very different chart. Misunderstood um, compared to what today people think as career. Okay? Therefore, these are some of the misconceptions and um, there are so many other misconceptions. My God. I can keep thinking and going on, but then the time is going up. <laughs> So maybe I will make a part two of this video and I'm interested to know where your Saturn is and how was your previous Saturn Antar Dasha which you got in this Mahadasha or maybe the previous to previous, okay. Or maybe you are running Saturn um, Dasha or Sade Sati or whatever. And by the way, for Sade Sati, I've already made a video uh, video series with Vanita Lankaji. So please go and watch it, okay. Oh, not with Vanita Ji, with uh, Nikita Shetwal. I had, uh, she had interviewed me for a, uh, Sade Sati series. So you will find that I'll put it here. All right. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it and please uh, write it down in the comments. Uh, how? What are some of the other misconceptions that you feel uh, is rampant in the society or at least in YouTube about Saturn? I would love to know them from you because I'm a, I'm one person. I can only give some limited information, but. All of you watching this video, if you can write down in the comments, I would really appreciate it. All right. So if you want a consultation from me regarding your career, please go to my website below in the description section. And God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of your Saturn. All right. Thank you very much.